Hi, Al Nichols again, back here from the New York State Chapter of the American Chestnut Foundation. I'm going to do a, uh, a little short presentation on direct planting, which you'd, you'd be doing in the fall. You'd have nuts in the fall, and they'll germinate just the same as they would in the forest if they fell on a um, on the forest floor and were covered up with a couple leaves. So if you look here, what I've done is is I used a herbicide. I killed all the grass around this area. I scraped all the sod. I did that um, several weeks ago. I scraped the side cover off. And this is all I do for direct planting. You don't have to dig a big hole. Um, is it normally that normally that nut would be laying right on top of the ground with just a little bit of a few leaves or something over top of it. So I made a big hole there. And that hole is just so I can drive a stake in. Drive a stake in. You don't get any simpler than this for direct planting. Now you could put wire cage around it, like I like I showed on the the one for transplanting. You know, whatever you wanted to protect it with, or you could put a six foot um, tubing protector on it. So you can have your nut, it's going to be in the fall, it's not going to be germinating, you're not going to have a root on it like you will have on the demo um, that, I, that I did before for planting into a, in a um, container. Now normally that's going to be laying right on top of the ground, so you're going to have, you're going to be a little bit of dirt there. I'm going to make sure I filled in around this the thing here, make sure that's tight. So this is going to be right here. Normally it's going to be laying right on top of the ground. I made a hole about two inches deep. I'm going to put that there and I'm just going to put a little dirt on top of it. Just so it doesn't dry out. Now I'm doing this during the summer. That's not a viable nut, but you'd be doing exactly the same thing in the fall. You just take a little bit of dirt, just a, you don't need more than half an inch probably on there. Take a tree tube, a wire protector, and I'm going to work this down in the ground there where I already worked the soil up. So it's down in a couple inches. It's going to keep the mice and stuff from coming in there and eating that. Now I just tighten the zip tie up on it, and that will germinate in the spring. It's going to be much later than what they normally germinate in the house and come up, but but. I planted 25 one year, and all 25 of them come up. Had 100% success with them. Um, if nothing eats them, so if you have that down there in the tree tube, um, that's all you got to do, and that'll come up in the spring. And I really, I actually really like direct planting because then that root goes straight down. You don't have to disturb it. And by the fall, those trees, they germinate, and you keep them, eat them off. They and they're fertilized um, with like some slow release fertilizer or whatever, they'll be three feet tall by fall. And um, you just gotta protect them. You know, you're gonna have to go back and protect them once they come up with, you know, for deer protection. But that that should be, that's, that's all you gotta do for direct planting right there. Okay, thank you very much.